Hello and welcome back to Caves with Gud. We're, we're gonna go and get Stops Valen real quick. Um, which is a, a pretty cool little toy. If you've never gotten Stops Valen, um, it's, it's just one of the many fun things in Gud to obtain. It's a, also a really good, like, I don't know, mid to late, sorry, maybe early to mid game item. Honestly, even like late, you could probably make use of it. Um, but here we go. Settlements. I think it's in settlements. Pig farm. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Goat folk village. Lots of goat folk villages. Goat folk village. Lots of these. Lots and lots and lots of these. Grove. Tamura Grove. I don't know what that is, so we could check that out. So this is not it. Is it in locations? Where is it? Artifacts. Aha. We'll stop selling. Three east and two north of Red Rock. Easy. The Snapjaw that wields stops Fallon. We're just going to go ahead and destroy everything. What kind of reputation do we got here? Loved by Snapjaws. Admired by the Mopango. I actually wouldn't mind making friends with this lad. So I'm going to move out of the way. Hopefully they're not following me. And I'm going to, since we are admired, um, let's go ahead and make a, make a recipe with congealed love. Which is something I haven't really done in this playthrough yet. Just to see if we can't get beguiling. Um, preserve your fresh foods. Choose ingredients. Congealed love. Um, let's just do the one because I don't want to mess with this. Wow, plus four ego, huh? You can use beguiling at one two if you already have beguiling. It's enhanced, and that's going to be enhanced by our ego as well. Beguile creatures. We could also try proselytizing it, but you can see beguiling is at eleven right there. And our ego is high enough that we can basically beguile whatever the heck we want. Aw, did they die? <laughs> that was, that sucks. Got a neck ring, got a weird artifact. They definitely died to these lads. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Uh, well, at least we have Beguiling, and we have Stops Velen now. I don't seem to be getting an achievement. You make some progress understanding Stops Velen. Do I not understand Stops Velen? Hmm. Did I already get the Stops Velen achievement? Let me, let me just double check here. I thought, I know I obtained Stops Velen before. Oh, okay, apparently I've already gotten it. Ah, uh, so it do, it didn't count. I, I had already gotten Stops Fallon once before, but I didn't think it was an achievement yet. But apparently it was. It was one. Of, it's a, that was one of the older achievements. Shoot. Oh well. Can't win them all. Um, let's see what other achievements we could get here. Advanced mutation to level fifteen. Um, we need to find a, a Borokoru, the ape god. Uh, still have to find a frog to and te get them to teach us jump. Share a map with 30 clones of yourself. Kill a Barakaro. Recover Kindrish. We could try and visit some generated villages. I don't know if we if there are any uh, like settlements we haven't been to though. Pig farm. Unf it sucks that vill like all settlements are kind of like under the same umbrella. As goat folk villages because they shouldn't count. They're they're not really anything. They don't have any of the staples of of a village. They don't have any quests to give. They don't have anything to to really offer. Um, and there's so many of them. <laughs> oh well. So, I don't really know what we can do here. You know what we should do is turn off some of these ruins. I'm pretty sure I've been to some of these ruins already. Unvisited on only. Oh, okay. Apparently, there's a bunch of ruins that I've never been to. Um, natural features. I don't know what that is. Probably, like, weeps and stuff. Ruins with becoming nooks. Turn those on as well. 
Um, have we been to all of the historic sites that we know of? Apparently we haven't been to a historic site in the Palladium Reef. I find that very hard to believe. Very hard to believe. Well, in any case, we're still going to be um, derb derbling around in uh, in in the, the Tomb of the Eaters. We're just about done here. Oops, did I go the right way? Yeah, oh, sorry, I, I did go the right way. Um, I would be, I would be lying if I said that uh, fighting cherubs wasn't kind of a tedious business. Because they are tanky, they have a lot of health. Uh, they have high AV, they're really nasty, they hit hard. Um, managing them is very much like, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a really tough business. And I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know how well the geomagnetic dis disc does against them. But I'm gonna go ahead and make some more plasma grenades. I know that's a, they, they're kind of expensive and they're using some of our um, higher up bits, but if we're not gonna use them against this kind of thing, then when are we gonna use them? We could also make some resonance grenades. These tend to do some really good damage. Um, thermal grenade, we could make some thermal grenades. Let's try some thermal grenades. And I'll also make a couple time dilation grenades, just to, to just to slow them down. You're out of bits. We need pristine electronics. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a, a time dilation grenade. I don't even think this will um, provoke them yet. So they're dilated. Then we're gonna switch to um, plasma. They, they really do just like kind of get a free movement almost. And then now that they're nice and coated in plasma, we're going to start throwing thermal grenades. I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they're going to be able to shake this off. They tend to have just like a bunch of free freebies, you know, like they, they, they you can't freeze them to death. We're gonna we're gonna heat we're gonna superheat them, you know. Beats at the flames with their twigs. These are even like, they're they're technically electric trees, but they're trees all the same. They should be taking nice, nice damage. Kind of wish they were like lava grenades. Okay, so that one is dead. Is that one up there coated in plasma? I don't think so. Um, so let's go ahead and coat them in some plasma. Okay, they are coated in plasma. And now we will switch back to thermal. I do think the time dilation grenade was the good call because it seems to be working better in some ways than the uh, freeze grenade. I don't know what happened to the other tree. They seem, oh, there they are. Are they still dilated? They're coated in plasma. I don't think they're dilated anymore. Could be bad. Doesn't really matter. Um, they are getting kind of close to me. And remember, they have really, really nasty hits. So I, I really don't want to have to deal with one of them. I can't really tank them. So I might... Oh, is that one dead? Okay, cool. So what I am going to do is we're going to sprint. Because these guys are not too fast. And then uh, we're gonna throw another. Okay, I, I don't think that that hit us. Yeah. Okay. So they're they're frozen now. Um, 
So now we'll switch back to something else. What do we want? I don't really have any thermal grenades. I used all of them up. So instead, I think what I'll do is uh, I will coat them in plasma. We don't have too many of those left either. And then uh, I'll freeze them. If it seems like I'm, I'm being like hyper cautious, I think you'll agree that that is the good, that is the correct um, course to take, you know, like who who wants to, well, they, they seem to be taking quite a lot of damage from that. We are also frozen, unfortunately. Uh, this is, the worst part about using freeze grenades is it doesn't just freeze the enemy, it freezes the area. And then you find yourself in a position where you're, you know, you walk into the area and you get frozen yourself. Pretty sure, since they are pla uh, coated in plasma, they will stay frozen longer than we will. But it doesn't mean it's not any less of a pain in the butt. So we're going to turn on demolish and we should be able to perma stun them. And this will be the end of the trees, which, thank God. Oh, see, they still they still hurt us. Knocked prone. They're only injured right now. Remain stunned. So I'm just going to be careful to basically conk them every time conk is off cooldown. Oh my God. That should not do that much damage. I'm sorry. I call absolute garbage on that. That is just like absolutely ridiculous damage. That almost killed us. <sighs> Flurry. And plus they're stunned. Like it just seems like crazy to me that they're able to shake the stun and then hit us that hard in the same turn. I don't know what they're hitting us with. Wow hits times four for 77 damage like calm down <laughs> they're still only wounded so yeah they're still like they still have many ability much ability to, to, to hit us hard conk See, like they're stunned. They shouldn't they shouldn't be hitting us that hard. I I, I hate these trees with a passion. <laughs> um kinda wanna switch gears here and just like freeze them again. And then um do we have any high explosives? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Can we, let's try the geomagnetic disc. I think that actually does hit them. The geomagnetic disc actually does hit them. So they're dead now. So it turns out geomagnetic disc is actually amazing. Um, that was brutal. I, I hate those trees. Wait, what? I just got some, uh, some, some good stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I, I just learned. Something important. Uh, you know what the piece of information... I think I got a quest to recover something. Still hoping to um, get like the full history of one of these sultans. Briny Mararad Boon. Well, we got that. Okay, we're good here. Um, I'm gonna have to take a moment to recover because damn. We are we are not okay. Well we can we can walk up. 
recover while we're we're taking the long walk up to the next zone. Okay. Um, what are we working with here? We should tinker before we move on. I, I do want to make some more temporal grenades. I don't think we have enough. Yeah, we don't have any pristine electronics. Pristine electronics turned out to be really, really important. Um, so maybe stun gas grenades? It's, it's something, you know, it's not great, but it's something. Slip ring, shade oil injector, resonance grenade, reprogrammable recoiler, poison gas grenade, maybe. I don't know if they're really like prone to that. I'm not making plasma grenade marks or forget about it. Let's just make some high explosive grenades and some more freeze grenades. Kind of wish that you couldn't make airfoil grenades by accident. Okay. So this should be good. Um, we're going to open up with our last time dilation grenade. And then I'm going to... I don't know. Oh, are these barathermites? Glass Bear Cherub. Reflects 25% damage back at attacker. Oh, that sucks. They also have a chance to dismember. Hate this. Hate this guy. Glass Mollusk. They also have chance to reflect back. And to dismember. So I hate these guys. They're they're kind of the worst. So we're gonna we're not gonna treat these guys with any kindness. We're gonna time dilation and then we're gonna throw a gas grenade, stun gas grenade. That should make it impossible for them to basically ignore it or uh, avoid it. Um, and then I guess we'll just hit them with high explosives, why not? Oh, I shouldn't, you know, we're not locking on because they can still reflect damage. So the problem is that they can still reflect that damage back onto us. Like, that hits us pretty hard. I have not been able to figure out a good way of dealing with glass. Let's, um, let me see here, actually. Glass. Uh, or let's try mirror. Mirror bug? Sure, let's try mirror bug. Uh, despite their low hit points and merely passable other stats, mirror bugs can be incredibly dangerous because they can reflect the entirety of the damage they take back at their attackers. Unlike quartz baboons, combine this with the fact that you usually only see them spawning together in swarms. Best way to deal with them is to quickly prevent more from spawning. Kiting the insects away until you get a clear shot path of the mirror. Um, some methods of dealing indirect damage, such as poison or corrosive gas, will also damage the creator. What? Of the damage. Resistance to the damage type, such as heat damage from burning, will prevent the full damage from being reflected. So it seems like even um, indirect damage hurts, us, hurts me back. That sucks. Um, but let's try poison, just to be sure. Oh, we could just do geomagnetic disc. Like, make no mistake, we're, you know, they're, this hurts, but not as much as hit, getting hit by them, and it's certainly not dismembering us, right? Um, let's hit him with another stun gas grenade. I don't think that this does anything, but it's worth trying, you know? I really am just like trying as much as I can stuff. Uh, we're just gonna do geomagnetic disc. And then I'll take an herbary when I get low enough.
Um, this guy is getting kind of close. <sighs> can we... We can swap back to freeze grenades. Switch back to the disc. Throw, throw, throw. All right, that's that's the bear taken care of, and that's the other one taken care of. So we're good. We're done here. So that seems like a pretty effective method. I mean, against mirrored creatures, that's like really good. We need. I'm just trying. I'm just checking. We need uh, sixty thousand experience points to get to the next level. Level 40 is no slouch. Oh, sorry, uh, I should say 55,000 experience. Excuse me. Yeah, I know that makes a huge difference, but. All right. So we've got a cherub monkey and their friend, I think that's a canoe. Swine, mechanical star swine. Oh, it's a mechanical. And these are, these are mechanical. Okay, so we should be able to use EMP on these guys. So let's use EMP. And then we'll switch back to the geomagnetic. Who would have thought that the geomagnetic disc would have been so effective? Wait, what? Laze beam. They're hitting us with they're hitting me with laze beams. Should be fine. Laze beams are not so bad. And also we can deflect them back. Okay, so they're getting close again. We're gonna want to, I keep pressing the wrong button. Switch back to EMP and throw another EMP at them. They're still coming. Okay, so switch to something else. Do a time dilation. We are also technically dilated, which is not good. Okay, switch back to geomagnetic. So to all those who told me that the geomagnetic disc is actually amazing and that I had been undervaluing it, I, I feel like you're uh, vindicated here for sure. What do these guys do anyway? They just have light manipulation level 10. I, that's not even that good. I, I shouldn't even used anything on these on these guys. Done. Oh, I didn't know I could just like auto explore to get the the info. Dumb. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. So, I think that is the is that the fourth set that we've killed? So I think there's just one more, and then we are on the last floor. So what do we have here? Oh, another is that another tree? Salt tree cherub, and they have mechanical cherub cherubic bark. Mechanical cherubic bark, wow. All right, well that sucks. Um, what is the other one, is that a frog? I bet it is briny frog, right? Electric frog cherubim. Okay, and they also have bite. Um, all right, well, we can throw, we'll do a, d another time dilation grenade. And I'm also, just to be super, you know, careful here, gonna, gonna throw some freeze grenades, just to not even freeze them in time, but also just freeze them in space and, uh, you know, just make sure they're very, very frozen, okay? Okay, all right, we'll, we'll do that, and then we're gonna geomagnetic disc them. Uh, I hope that this uh, 
has been interesting. I'm sure that it's probably not exciting for some. Um, I understand that, but at least we kind of discovered, we figured out a, a good format for killing these lads. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to freeze grenade, throw the freeze grenade right there, and again, and again, just to make sure their, their temperature is nice and low, and we'll continue, damaged, the other one is dead, alright, that's it, we'll get the lower here, briny air to frogs, the bane of of my existence. The 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 air to the, the briny air of frogs has been the the source of all of those Croco historic sites and I, I hate them. <laughs> they they are the worst. Truly the worst. Okay, I think think we're done here now. I am pretty sure the next one is Reshef's tomb and that would spell the end. Yep. So uh, I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tinker up a reprogrammable recoiler just because I don't want to... Oh, we can't, right? Um, can we disassemble something to get some pristine electronics? Uh, we could disassemble this ontological anchor. Don't really want to do that. Or the hologram bracelet. Um, that could be fine. I don't mind doing that. Okay. And we're going to make a reprogrammable recoiler. And the reason being is, um, I guess I, I could have just disassembled this other reprogrammable recoiler. Because uh, for some reason, the to Tomb of the Eaters one is not really working properly. I think it's because I'm trying to reprogram it to also be in the same Tomb of the Eaters. And maybe it just doesn't like that. So I'm going to install a cell here. I'm also going to fully charge it. Which is expensive. I don't tend to like to recharge... Um, cells with bits because you know it's it's a really good way to waste bits basically there's many ways to get power that don't necessarily need require you to, to use up your bits um and now we're going to imprint and now we have we have an imprint for the end of the game um i've talked about this before but i don't want to take the current ending of cud like, there's an achievement associated with that, and I understand that this is a series based on getting achievements. That's the only one I really don't want to take, because uh, I want to get that specific achievement on a classic run. Um, that'll be another series that I do at some point, is uh, continue basically my lazy lazy classic uh, playthrough, where I, I just try and play CUD on classic mode and get a win. Um, and the win will be, you know, this this win is basically uh go to the uh what should i call it i can't remember what the place is called but go go and 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 stay in the holographic land um and take the, take the end take the win um and i think that that would be a really good way of just like you know sort of a farewell to you know having to 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 play on classic mode in a way um, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm not going to do that probably for a while. Um, there's a lot of achievements let yet to take, yet to get, and that one's low on my list of, of ones that I need. Um, all right, so I have to recharge my Grit Gate Recoiler. I know uh, I mentioned before that I had to... <laughs> I, I had to hold a, rec a jacked recoiler in order to for it to function, and then I basically never held them. That uh, I think that says a lot about my laziness when it comes to these things. Like I really don't want to have to do more item or inventory management than I absolutely have to. 
um, that, that is a testament to just like how much I dislike having to, to dirtle with in inventory and, and with like cells and electricity and all that stuff. Like I don't want to do it. I just don't want to. Uh, and considering how much I play this game, I don't think I should have to do like any more than I really want to. The most I'm willing to is like, you know, when I fight someone hard, like a cherub is, uh, I'm willing to tinker up a bunch of grenades and deal with that business. Like that's, that's a whole business unto itself. So do we have a uh, renewed? Yes, we do. We have a renewed uh, store here. So let's buy ourselves some brain brine. Um, what can we trade? I'm sure we have tons of stuff to trade. We can trade this weighted edge of Ekapad. Stun rods, why not? We'll trade all of this stuff minus the crystal long swords because I need those, obviously. Uh, I don't know what we're doing in terms of... I don't know what we're doing in terms of our ranged weaponry. Like, I'll admit I'm kind of lost on that because I'm not sure if... Like, I want to have a high voltage arc winder and we have a really good one right here. This one gives us plus four intelligence. Like, it's really good. But as I just got through saying, I don't want to have to do energy or in inventory management. And that spells a lot of inventory management for us. I really, really don't want to have to do that. Well, not even a lot. Like, I just it just spells any, kind of. You know, like, I, I would have to, I would have to, like make sure it's charged and if it's not charged I don't know because one of our guns is jacked and that means it's never going to run out of uh power and you know like it's just kind of a pain in the butt someone out there like you're absolutely a hundred percent in the right to to call me lazy or whatever in that regard but I'd rather just get a proper um a proper high voltage arc winder like they, they're out there there's they're certainly out there um so i i don't see why i should have to uh tolerate a one that i do have to keep charged i don't know like i know it gives me four intelligence and that would be nice but eh like just just kind of eh yeah so our Iker merchants here are all renewed, which is fantastic because they all have good stuff, including a second neutron flux. Um, that's great because now we can finally do that cool quest that, that I've been alluding to. Um, and that'll probably be on the next episode because we are kind of running late into this episode. And uh, I, I have, I, I'd like, I, I, you know, I, I like doing long episodes, but at a certain point, if I make them too long, it it just means that you're going to get less episodes at the end of the day. Okay, let's just do our cybernetics credit wedges here. Actually, we don't need to trade that many. Damn. Okay. Actually, we'll do one less. And we're back to only 15 drams. Okay, well, oops. Um, let's go to eat freehold. But look at all the nice stuff we got. We got some sun slag. Let's drink some of this stuff. We got four brain brine. We got some sun slag. Um, we got neutron flux. I'm not going to drink that. We got another cloning draught. I could hit our friend here with another cloning draught. Is it worth it? I guess so. Um, it's kind of making a lot of things easy for us. So sure. Pour it nearby. There, one dram. So we have now four legendary Isakari, not sorry, Isakari, Iker merchants, which is just fantastic. I, you know, I love it. Um, let's drink some brain brine. We're almost, this is our seventh brain brine. 440 skill points. Oh my god. 
This is fantastic. Brain Brian has been such a such a great boon. I, I had only done one Brain Brian on a previous run, and I got really, really bad RNG on it and got a, a, a flaw, a, like a defect. And that kind of turned me off of Brain Brian a little bit. I thought maybe it was not worth it. Disintegration. We've learned disintegration. Oh my god. That's another mental mutation, right? Yeah. That's a really good one, too. It's 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 okay. Like, it's a great mutation to get for free. Because you wouldn't want to take it. It's a very much a like a burn it out, burn burn once and then you're done. Um but it's still really nice. It's it's a good one, I'd say. Uh, Alright, let's continue. We're getting more mental mutations. And this is actually working towards more than one achievement, not just Brain Brian, but if we get to, I think we have to get to like 200 Glimmer or even like something insane, like 400 Glimmer in order to get another achievement. So, Quantum G Oh, it's a jit. Oh, defect. Quantum Jitters, and that's a really bad one, too. Um... Whenever you use an activated ability, there's a small chance your focus slips and you dent space time in the local. That's almost a like a a, um, a run ending. <laughs> That's almost a run ending defect. That's a really really bad one. So that sucks. Still, uh, we're we're gonna see it through. Cud was once called Salem. That's a weird bit of lore to get. Someone sold an adventurer a map for a treasure vault belonging to goat folk. Legendary salt hopper, fungus forest. Okay, some of that, some of those uh, last brain brines were not great. And we are losing a lot of ego. Every time I do that, I lose one ego. And ego is like our best friend. This is a mental mutations run, right? So. Um, we want that, uh, we want that business. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Eid Freehold again, I know, as we are want to do. Um, I might want to check out that Palladium Reef historic site. Apparently there's a Palladium Reef historic site that I've never visited, which seems odd. Um, I kind of want to check it out this episode just a little bit, but, um, what I'd really like to do is prepare for uh the next episode which is we're going to be we're going to be doing um some a really cool quest that i spoiled for myself and i'm going to be spoiling for you if you don't know uh anything about it but it involves the clams is all i'm gonna say um so you see here uh what can we trade having like low trade fodder is always kind of difficult it's more difficult than having high trade fodder it's easier for me to trade for really valuable stuff than it is for like whatever we only have one sleep beer gland wow um we could trade some of these emp grenades so sure that works out May as well trade some of these grenades because I, I don't need them. Okay, that, that works out. We're essentially trading bits for bits. I understand that. Okay, let's uh disassemble the rest of these. Okay. Um, let's... Do a quick check on the general store, see if we have any uh, crystal long swords. Any love tonics? This guy will occasionally sell love tonics. There's one right there. Amazing. Always worth grabbing a love tonic. I, I'm still holding on to some kind of like perverse hope that we will eventually get the rest of the Yesher skin. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm hoping for that. Because, you know, like it's a weird, weird Betel quest. Give me a Crystal Longsword. No Crystal Longsword. Wow. 
Uh, we could really use some more herb berries. I, I used up quite a lot in the Tomb of the Eaters. And that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be doing some uh, a fun quest, as I keep alluding to. Uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be great. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Did that guy have a force bracelet? That might actually be worth it for us. Data disc force bracelet. Is this Tinker Three? It's Tinker Two. You know what? Let's buy that. That's that's kind of worthwhile. I'm I'm down for a uh, force bracelet. No. There. No, stop it. <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, thank you. All right. Learn it. Force bracelet. Learn. Nice. If you enjoyed this episode, do hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time as we uh, make some more progress towards another achievement next episode. Take it easy.